Welcome back everybody, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. And today we have a beer from the Traveler Brew Company. This is Traveler, Traveler Grapefruit Shandy. It's the Traveler Beer Company, yes. yes. So this is a 4.4% ABV and 7 IBUs. I don't remember... If I've been a fan of any of theirs, actually. I think we have. I just can't remember. I don't think so. What I ones. don't think I cared so much for the lemon, the Traveler one that was lemon. I like Lining Kugels. Right. And I don't think I like this one. I thought there, we had their raspberry one or something like that. Wow. Look at that thickness. I don't know about grapefruit and beer. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for it. So, um, I'm guessing this is the Enjoy By, which is Enjoy By July 2017. All right. So, so we're good. good. Um, Whitehead, small bubbles. I do have some medium in there. About two fingers of head. It is hazy like mm -hmm. a New England IPA. I cannot see through it. I can see some bubbles coming up, but not that many from here. I would say a yellow, hazy mm -hmm. yellow color. I can smell it. Oh, God. No, it's like I can smell it. Smell? I can smell the grapefruit. It almost smells like grapefruit rind. You know? Yeah, grapefruit Rind yep. and I want to say pop, like a little. Really? Yeah. But yeah, grapefruit rind is what I smell. I've never done the grapefruit diet, but I'd have to believe that this is what it, was <laughs> like. <laughs> what it would be like. Okay, taste. Oh. Bitter tart Yuck. grapefruit. No. I I'll drink, you know, the ruby red the the what is that stuff? The ocean spray grapefruit yeah, very, That's very, nothing like this. No, but I'm not a big fan of grapefruit, generally speaking, and I think that maybe grapefruit mixed with the wheat is not for yeah, me. Yeah, it's like some citrus grapefruit citrus a big thing of wheat. Yeah, I don't think it mixes. I don't think it. I don't think it blends well. No. Keep drinking it though. <laughs> I'm gonna give it like a two out of five. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go. It go is low. It is light. No aftertaste. It's gone. <sighs> it's gone because I'm not drinking it. Uh, I would probably have to go with a two. Is that what you went with? Yes. Yeah. It's yes. It's like everything's up front. Like you get that tartness it, yeah. or sourness from the grapefruit. You get some grapefruit. Then it's just like a wheat. Just explodes. And I like wheat beer, but I don't think that these flavors mesh well together. And I don't think this is enjoyable. No. And I don't think it'd be enjoyable anytime. Uh -uh. And I'm sorry, but this is not a winner. But it is, I mean, if you like grapefruit. I still don't think you You might like this. it. There might Wheat be ale there. brewed with lemon peel and with natural flavors, grapefruit, and grapefruit juice added. Yeah. No. Not a fan. They sorry. should have kept everything out besides the wheat. Sorry. No. Yuck. Not, not even going to go back for more to no. see if I change my mind. <laughs> So that'll wrap up this disgusting review on the Traveler Grapefruit, it, grapefruit Shandy. Fruit you got Shandy. it. You're all right. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing. Thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me a comment down below to tell me what you thought about this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share and hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. You can check out these videos over here. Also head over to 31stbrewing.com for everything beer and home brewing related.